Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. Um, I'm doing an all signs video today. Some people might consider it a speed read because I've only given myself a little over an hour to do all 12 signs. So this is going to be very quick, short, sweet, and to the point. Simple spread, simple information. I'm only using one deck, so I'm really testing myself here today. And this is all in honor of Mercury Retrograde my favorite time of year. Um, it's like it's like having Christmas three times a year for me. It really is. It really is. Because retrograde's a gift. Retrograde is an opportunity to clean things up out of your life that you don't want hanging out anymore. To invite new things in. And sometimes you're inviting old stuff in to revisit it, but you know, it, it depends on your own individual situation. So, if any of these resonate with your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, cool. If not, just leave them on your table and walk away. Okay? All right. Hopping right into it. Aries, what you got going on? One. Sign of swords. Y'all be a little bit anxious. What's challenging you at this time? What is challenging Aries at this time? Seven of Cups. Confusing situation. Probably lots of emotions involved. Alright. What is Aries letting go of? What is Aries letting go of? One card. Two of coins. <sighs> juggling. Possibly some of you were juggling. What is Aries moving toward? What is Aries moving toward? Three of Wands. A state of waiting. You are moving into a state of waiting. Okay. Or maybe your ships are finally going to come in. We'll get a clarifier on it in a second. What is Aries desire? What does Aries desire? Nine of Cups, self-fulfillment, being emotionally well within themselves. What is the projected outcome? Give me one card for the projected outcome. Eight of Swords. Being in a mental prison. Well, that is certainly the opposite of the Nine of Cups, isn't it? Wow, okay. So you're anxious. I mean, you're, you're dropping a sword. That's, that's... Nobody panic. It's retrograde. It's retrograde. All right, what is this series of events... What is this series of events? Seven of Wands, King of Cups. Eight of Cups. <sighs> 
defeating inner demons, it, personal struggles, battling struggles, finally being able to stand up for what you want, what you believe in. King of Cups possibly being able to finally express emotions. Express emotions. Eight of Cups moving on from a situation. Okay. Okay. Moving on from a situation or a person. Being able to move forward. Being able to move forward to finally find that inner peace. Okay. What is advice? Two more cards of advice for Aries. Two more cards of advice. Okay, they came... Three came out together. I'll take them together. Why not? King of Swords, Ten of Wands, Lovers, Magician, Six of Wands. Be logical. Make the most logical, non emotional decision that you possibly can. Release whatever burdens that might be involved in this situation. Harness your magician energy to make the choice. I feel like you got the lovers here. I feel like you got a choice between two because you're leaving something behind. You're leaving behind juggling. So this to me... Some y'all might be torn between two. And you're leaving that energy. So. You need to make the choice that's going to lead to victory. Not lead to heartache. Not lead to this. This is what you need to do to avoid this. And get to what you want. Okay? Alright. I don't think we need to clarify anything. Um, bottom of the deck, but you don't see coming. Hermit energy. You got to go within. If you go within and make, make <laughs> go within, what do I always say? Go within to make the right choice. You will go up to the next level and get to your Ten of Cups. Okay? Okay? But it involves moving on, to, moving on from something to get to where you want to be, where you need to be, where you would like to be. To achieve the ultimate goal. Okay. Aries. That took eight and a half minutes. So. No reversals either today, guys. No reversals. No reversals. <coughs> Taurus. What's going on? more. I'm using the Tattoo Tarot today, by the way. The Tattoo Tarot. Ten of Swords. We're taking it. You're coming to the end of a painful cycle. Okay. I'm kind of glad Aries didn't get that card. because <laughs> Last two readings I've done for Aries, the Ten of Swords was the first card out. Okay. What is the challenge for Taurus? What is the challenge for Taurus? I mean, Taurus, the sun's going to shine again. That's not bad. And you're through the worst of it. What's the challenge? What's the challenge? Six of Swords, moving on. Moving through it. Moving past it. What are you letting go of? What are you letting go of? Four of Swords. You're processing a heartbreak. 
What are you moving toward? Four of Wands. Yes! You're letting go of a heartbreaking situation. You're putting it to rest. You're using that fourth sword to cut the BS out of your life and you're moving towards stability and an opening door. That's awesome! Okay, what do you want? What do you want, Taurus? What is your desire? What do you want? Happiness! Who the fuck doesn't? I mean, seriously. You want happiness. The happiness, and by the looks of this particular sun card, I love the tattoo, Tara, by the way. It's one of my favorites. I barely ever use this deck. You want happiness. You want togetherness with someone. You want stability. It's what you're moving toward. That's fantastic. What's the projected outcome? What is the projected outcome? Hanged man. Might have to clarify that. What is the series of events leading up to this projected outcome? Knight of Cups. Queen of Wands. And the Ace of Cups. Huh. That's interesting. Give me a second on that. Couple clarifiers, no big deal. What can Taurus do to get to their desired outcome versus the projected outcome? Knave of Coins. Eight of Wands. And the Moon. Okay, super general. I feel like you turned away from an offer and moved towards something else. And that is what has put you what is here right now. It's what, it's why you're here. You're moving out of a painful situation towards something that's stable. Your desired outcome is the sun, happiness, togetherness with someone Projected outcome is accepting the fate of a situation. What you need to do to get to your happiness versus having to accept whatever comes your way. The Knave of Coins has an apology. Okay? He's the one who carries apologies. You may have to apologize for something that you may have been dishonest about. For some of you. Or flip it around, reverse it. Someone else turned away from you and gave a cup to somebody else. You have to be accepting of that apology. 
what you don't see coming is the Ten of Coins. It's prosperity. It's stability. This is awesome. This is awesome. But, you know, it is what it is. All right. Okay. That's what I got for you, Taurus. This might take me a little bit longer than an hour, but I'm working toward it. Gemini. Gemini. Talk to me about Gemini. What's Gemini going on right now? What's Gemini got going on right now? Talk to me about Gemini. You juggling. <laughs> Possibly. Or things, there's change afoot. This also talks about doing the dance of change and trying to find balance in a situation. So... So, okay, okay, what's challenging you? The tower came out. Let's change. And this is change that looks super scary versus this. Maybe a situation has changed. What are you letting go of? What are you letting go of? What are you letting go of? What is Gemini letting go of, universe? What is Gemini letting go of? Okay, two came out. Three of Cups, King of Swords. Some of you could be letting go of a third party situation. Some of you could be letting go of being, having such guarded emotions. What are you moving toward? What is Gemini moving toward? Ten of Wands and the Knave of Coins. Releasing of a burden. Puts a slow moving page. But it's the staple page. Hmm. I might have to throw a clarifier on that for you, Gemini. What do you want out of this situation? Hi. Hi. Why am I getting two cards every time all of a sudden? Page of Wands and the Hanged Man. You want the spark. Possibly you want the other person involved to accept. You want to be able to accept the fate of a situation. Or you want the other person involved to be able to accept the fate of the situation. What is the projected outcome for Gemini? What's the projected outcome for Gemini? Queen of Swords. Oh! Why? Six of Cups came out. We'll keep it. Somebody may be reluctant. 
due to something that happened in the past. Okay. Can I get a quick clarifier on this page? Just a quick clarifier on the page. Page of coins. Nine of swords. Might be moving into something that makes you a little bit anxious. That's super weird retrograde energy, but okay. Can I get the series of events? Queen of Coins. That led up to why and where you are now. Queen of Wands. Ace of Swords. You viewed them as everything. That's awesome. It's like you saw the potential in this. And you saw the passion in it. There was definitely attraction here. Why the Ace of Swords? Seven of Swords. Hmm. That's interesting. Could have been why it was delayed. Or could be what's delaying it. There's something in the way. There's something that keeps sneaking back in. Okay. What can Gemini do to get to the desired outcome? Ace of Cups. Ten of Cups. Nice. And the Chariot. <laughs> I'm going to take this as be... Yes, understand that as you're moving forward into this, you got to take things step by step. You have to take things slowly, but don't be so anxious that things don't move forward. Because yes, going from the ace to the 10, going through that process, it needs to be at a pace, but it needs to be at a pace that you can both agree on. Don't move too fast, don't move too slow. Okay, just move at a slow, steady pace. And yes, this is probably very quick and abrupt for some of you. For what you don't see coming, the Four of Cups. This is the offer. This is the offer. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Maybe someone gave you an offer that you couldn't refuse. I don't know. I wasn't there. Are you getting an offer or are you extending an offer? Or whatever you do, just move at a pace. All right. Cancer. This is probably going to take like close to two hours. Trying not to. Cancer. Real quick for cancer. One more. Ace of Cups. Yowza. That's new and exciting and fun and different. I like it. 
What's the challenge? King of Swords. Probably overthinking it a little bit. Probably don't want to get your have your emotions get ahead of you. What you leaving behind? Ten of Pentacles. Could have something to do with money and finances. Maybe in order to take this, go on this new path, this new direction in love. Maybe you got to leave a really good job. What you moving toward? Four of Cups and the Magician. Yes. This is an offer with potential. Mm. You see the Magician? That Magician can manifest anything he wants. He's got all four aces. And you're contemplating. You're probably still going to contemplate if you did the right thing. But moving forward to an offer with a great deal of potential. Okay. What is your desire? What is your desire? Knight of Swords, the truth. You want honest communication. Projected outcome, forward movement, crossing choppy waters. Okay, so waters could get a little bit choppy. You're in deep contemplation with this King of Swords right now. This is a challenge for you. Sometimes that makes waves and shit. Makes the waters choppier than they need to be. Sometimes we do that to ourselves, believe it or not. Alright, what's the series of events leading up to this Ace of Cups? Series of events leading up to the Ace of Cups. Whoa, hi. What the heck was that? Alright, it gave me five. I'll take them. King of Cups, Seven of Cups, the Fool, the Tower, and the Ace of Swords. Damn, this happened very suddenly. Why the King of Cups? Temperance. This was a reunion. This is a reunion with someone very unexpected with this tower. This is a reunion. This is a calming of energies between you and somebody else. This is someone who didn't always wear their heart out on their sleeve. Suddenly coming back, bringing you emotion, probably caused some confusion with this Seven of Cups. And it's like, hey, let's jump. It was shocking. But it's a new start. It's a new start in ideas. It's a new start in love. It's a let's do this, but it's causing anxiety. It's causing you to have to go within and make a logical choice. What do I do? I have a great job. The Knight of Swords rushes into things because that's just his nature. It's not like it's not like Knight of Wands where there's no thought process behind it. The Knight of the Knight of Wands just goes like hell. You don't give a shit. This this guy gives a shit. This is like, I want to make, I, I want to move toward this with as much clarity as possible. It's, it's well thought out. This guy some kind of, sometimes is a little bit too well thought out. But, but, nothing wrong with that. Okay, okay. What can we do to get to the desired outcome?
Queen of Coins, Two of Cups. Amen. Contemplation. Take time with it. Take time with it. This connection is probably, okay. I need one more, give me one more. Five of cups, okay. That's why you're overthinking it. That's why you're overthinking it. This connection has a history. This was an unexpected return. You need to think about this, but you need to process any emotions that go along with this before you move into this newness. I understand this person's probably the catch. But you need to seriously contemplate it. Make a thought out move. This is more of a, okay, I gotta pack up the boat and go. Mm. Cross over some seriously choppy waters. Versus, I'm going to think about what I'm doing. All right, what do we don't, not see coming? The emperor. This guy represents all four aces. This guy represents all four kings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I already got two of the kings here. This is some great energy. This is controlled, large and in charge, knows what he's doing, nobody wants, gets it, and succeeds. Might be some success at the end of this cancer. Why not? Okay. Let's see. That was cancer. Leo. Let's go into Leo. And if I miss anybody, I'll just do another... I don't think I'm missing anything. Now. I'll just I'll do another video if I accidentally miss anything because this was horribly thought out and I just decided, hey, this is how I'm gonna do this today. Leo Nighty Cups. You want to make somebody an offer? What's the challenge? Six of Cups. Something from your past. What are you letting go of? What are you letting go of? The lovers. What are you moving toward? What are you moving toward? Two of coins. This is what you're letting go of. A divine connection from your past. Something that you still look back on. You're moving toward two of coins. Clarify the two of coins. The Empress. That's not bad. This is something that has the potential of growth. Could be a twin flame. Just so we understand the whole soulmate twin flame thing, 
It's not always somebody that stays in your physical existence forever. I fully believe that my ex-husband is my twin flame. I believe that. But unfortunately, when, and when a Sag and Leo get together, sometimes that flame burns a little hot. You burn the house down, know what I'm saying? And you just... It gets so hot and it gets so heated that you can't... can't live together. But, but that's just my twin flame journey. It's not, you know... There's probably a lot of people who would argue with me about that. So neither here nor there. But... Moving away from this, toward this, something with the potential of growth. On with it, on with it. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want, Leo? Two of Swords. You want to. You want to be able to make a decision with clarity. What is the projected outcome for Leo? Six of Swords, moving on. Moving on. Okay. What is the series of events that led up to... Led up to the Knight of Cups? Ten of Cups. The Fool. And the Knight of Swords. There was happiness, joy, bliss. A ten. The Fool comes in. A zero. It's a card of new starts. Knight of Swords. Clarity on the Knight of Swords, please. Ten of Coins. I feel like someone or something took a leap out. Could have been you. Could have been somebody else. It could have been this. That's why you got to leave it behind. Towards something more abundant. And it was well thought out. A lot of swords here. A lot of swords. A lot of cups. Which means... Yes, there was love there. Yes, there was a great deal of emotion. There was probably a pretty emotional departure. But they did what was best for them. What can Leo do? What can Leo do? What can Leo do? Two of Cups. Another two. Magician. Eight of Wands. Forward movement. Forward movement. Now, the what can you do, just so I clear this up for everybody, is the either the path you can take to lead you to your projected outcome, which is sometimes better than what you desire, or can lead you away from it if it, what, it is not what you desire. Your projected outcome is being able to move forward. What you want is to be able to make a decision with clarity. Sometimes a Six of Cups can cause a lack of clarity because it's very nostalgic. And it's that want because, you see, you see, if you can see how this is positioned. 
looking back on it. Okay. Okay. But it's still behind him. It's still behind him. What's in front of him is this. What's in front of that Natty Cups is this. Something with the potential of growth. Something that could be abundant. But you got to take those two little pentacles. You got to do something with them. All right. Bottom of the deck. Change. The death of something. The birth of something else. Sometimes you have to let things go, Leo. Okay. I mean, wow. That's beautiful, though. That's beautiful. I like it. I like it. Okay. Check this real quick. That, 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 oh, okay. All right, check that real fast. Okay. Leo, Virgo, what do we got for Virgo? The sun. Why are you even here, Virgo? That's amazing. That's like the happiest fucking card in the deck. That's where you're at. Okay, what's the challenge with that? The tower! <laughs> okay, I can see that. All right, not going to let him fly. What are you letting go of? Three of cups. We move him toward the emperor. Okay. What do you desire? King of Wands. What's your projected outcome? Queen of Wands. I already see where this is going. Can I get a clarifier in this Emperor for Virgo? Seven of Coins. Okay. Waiting. Waiting. What's this series of events? Virgo, I need to clarify this three cups, four of wands, I got it now, okay, so you're, you're happy, you're good, okay, you're getting along really good with somebody, all right, so you communicate well, there's probably a spark of passion in there. So you get your groove on. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Then they they kind of come at you with a little bit of a bigger offer. And maybe that made you super happy. Can I get one more on that? Nine of Cups. But you're good on your own. 
And sometimes when you're moving away from like a carefree, celebratory, having a good time, the door opens, you walk through the door. This is somebody that wants to take care of you. This is the offer you've been waiting for. And now you're walking toward it. Excuse me one moment, please. Sorry, I heard voices outside that sounded extremely close to my house and I had to see if there was anything or anyone out in my yard. Okay, so you're doing good. You get, you get the offer that you've been waiting for and this is the offer of someone taking care of you. The emperor takes care. It's very loving, very generous, very in charge. You're good on your own. You're happy, but the challenges change. Because your ultimate desire is to be the king of wands. To be in charge. To be able to do as you please. The projected outcome here is the queen of wands. She still does what she wants, but... Not quite the king. A little bit of fire energy here. Could be a fire sign you're dealing with. I don't know. I don't know. All right. <laughs> what can Virgo do? I got the Hierophant, the Knight of Swords, and Justice, no lie. I would never in a million years to tell someone to turn down an offer of engagement, but... Think about it. Just think about it before you rush into anything. Okay? Just think about it. If you're not ready, you're not ready. Okay? Seven of Pentacles. It, it is going to be slow moving. It's going to be slow moving. Just take your time. What you don't see coming is the Four of Cups. Maybe none of these events have played out yet, but the offer's coming. All right. Okay. I'm going to pause briefly again because I need to use the restroom and brew a cup of coffee, but I will be right back. All right. I'm back. Libra. Libra. Universe, talk to me about Libra and retrograde and what's going down and what's the gist. Only one more. I don't know why I'm flipping the deck. I'm not reading reversals in case you didn't notice. Mm -hmm. I wonder that feels weird. That's better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Apparently my coffee's done. Give me a second. Okay. Fantastic. Libra. What's going on? Three of Wands. Waiting? What you waiting on? What's your challenge? Death. So you're in a state of waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for something to happen. The challenge with that is the change that occurs with it. Huh. Okay. What you leaving behind? Three of coins. Stability. What you moving toward? Temper. Clarity and stability, please. Three of Wands. So, yeah. Clarity on the Three of Coins. Eight of Wands. Okay. 
Clarity on Temperance, the Empress. Wow, Libra. I feel like you're doing something uncomfortable. And you're leaving something that was comfortable. I'm telling you now, you're leaving it behind for something that is going to be amazing. But change isn't comfortable. Is it? Death cycles aren't comfortable. They're not. They're not supposed to be. But they help us grow. All right. What do you want? What's your desire? Two of Swords. Clarity. Making the right decision. What's the outcome? Two of Coins. I have a feeling you weighed the right option. What's the series of events that led up to the Three of Wands? Ten of Wands. Five of Coins. Queen of Swords. You had to boot somebody out. Ten of Wands, Five of Coins, Queen of Swords. You kicked somebody to the curb. Can I get one out of this Three of Coins, please? One more on this Three of Coins. Judgment. Yup. Yup. You had to make a judgment call on a situation. You had to do it quickly. I think this happened very quickly. I mean, it was financially stable, but I think that's the only way it was stable. All right. What can Libra do? What can Libra do? The moon, seven of wands, and the nine of coins. One on the moon. Six of Wands. I know you feel like you're stumbling around in the dark right now. I know. But what you're doing is for your benefit. What you are doing is for your personal growth. And what you are doing will lead you to victory. It will. It will. It will lead you to this peace and calm. And it will lead you to this growth. Okay? Okay. You're there. You're almost there. What you don't see coming, strength. You got it. Baby, you got it. You got it. You know you got it. It's there. You may not see it within yourself, but it's there. Could have been a Leo you were dealing with. Just throwing that out there. You got this, Libra. You got this. You got this. Okay. Scorpio down for Scorpio. Hey, it already popped out. Temperance. You're calm. You're at peace. You're exercising patience with the situation. Possibly could be a coming together for some of you. I don't know. What's the challenge? Ace of Cups. The start over. Okay. What are you letting go of? King of Coins. Stability. And maybe you are potentially walking away from being the one in charge. But you're walking toward a new start. The challenge is it might be the it might be making the offer. Is the challenge making the offer? Are you are you good right now? 
Are you good? Are you good? But I'm good. All right, what do you want, Scorpio? You want growth. You want growth. This is somebody's wife. Somebody's mom. She represents all four queens. This is what you want. You want to be somebody's empress, Scorpio. Okay, so what's the projected outcome? The magician. The manifestation of your, your desires. Scorpio, holy shit. I could stop right here, but I'm not gonna. The fact is, um, it's real hard to let go of being the one in charge, isn't it? It's hard to let go of. All right. What's the series of events that led up to this temperance? Ten of Wands, Five of Cups, and the Fool. Wow, are you dealing with a Libra? You might have Libra in your chart. Libra just got something similar for those of you who just skipped ahead. Ten of Wands, Five of Cups, and the Fool. You went through some shit, didn't you? It's not like Ten of Swords shit, but it's Ten of Wands. You had to release a burden. You had to come out of a state of great sadness to be able to get to the point of being able to have faith in yourself and have faith in the process to be able to jump again. But you had to go through it. You had to accept change. I feel like you had to go through this to get to this point to get to this point. The offer's coming in. The union is coming. But the offer has to be either extended or accepted first. Hmm. What can Scorpio do? Five of coins, four of cups, and the knave of cups. Okay. Why the five of coins? The Hermit. Go inside and think about it. Honestly communicate what you want. One more on this five of coins tower. Okay. Scorpio. Take your time with this. Take your time with this. The tower doesn't always have to be a catastrophe. It's just change. And it could be changed for the better. So you need to think long and hard before you accept or reject this offer. But I highly suggest that you actually communicate and not just ghost out. Just throwing that out there. What you don't see coming is the Eight of Cups. It is the moving forward. Okay? It's the walking away from the good, the bad, the ugly, and the indifferent toward what you want. And or what could be. And, you know, it's a toss-up for me, really. I mean, seriously. Seriously. It's a toss-up. All right. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. What do we got? Nope, you're going back in. Hmm. 
nine of wands. Is the wounded warrior rising up to give it one more go? This is so your card. This is so you, Sagittarius. Pick up, dust off, move on, who cares? So you. Wow. All right, what's the challenge? Hanged man. It's Still hung up. That's a challenge. Possibly you're accepting of the situation, but you're still a little hung up on it. Okay, what are you letting go of? Four coins. You're letting go of something that you have held on to very dearly. You are letting go of something that you don't want to let go of. We're going to clarify in a second. What are you moving toward? The Nine of Coins! You know, independence is awesome. It's awesome. Knowing that you're good on your own, that's great. That's an awesome feeling. I mean, you've already stood up. You've already rose up out of the ashes, Sag. But the challenge is letting go of what sent, sent you down into the ashes to begin with. Can I get a clarifier on this four coins? Ace of Swords. Okay. One more. Six coins. Okay. Could have been a new start with great potential. So what the hell happened? The moon. There's secrets, lies, and bullshit involved. You weren't given all the information. You were given the rosy part. Maybe you're having a hard time letting go of... The lies and the bullshit. I don't know. We'll get the series of events here in a minute. We'll get the series of events. What's your desire? King of Wands. Forward movement. Large in charge. I mean, it totally lines up with what you're walking toward. So that's pretty cool. Projected outcome. Three coins. Foundation! Mm hmm the foundation of something fantastic. Hmm. A series of events that led up to this nine of wands. Seven of cups, confusion. Seven of swords, lies. And the knave of cups. One more. Five of swords. Confusion, lies, possibly an apology, and you're saying, you know what, um, I'm packing. Again, you standing up. Five of swords, nine of wands. But the problem is you're still a little bit pissed off about it. And you haven't been able to let it go. Well, in order to move forward into this, be it financial or emotional, to build this and become this, guess what you got to do? Well, we'll throw down some cards for it. What needs to be done? King of Coins. Eight of Swords. Temperance. That's your card, Sag. And the Ten of Swords, you got to let that shit go. You got to let that shit go. It has consumed you. You have to let it go. You have to make peace with it. Ten of Swords, Temperance, Eight of Swords, King of Coins. You got to make peace with it.
You gotta get the swords out of your back. You gotta let sunshine again. Because this has such wonderful potential. And you can't come together with other people if you have a hard time trusting people. Just throwing that out there. What you don't see coming is justice. Don't do yourself an injustice of holding yourself back because you can't let something go. You have to allow for the process. All right, Capricorn. Ace Cups. Okay. New start. What's the problem? Knight of Cups. What are you letting go of? The moon. What are you moving toward? The fool taking a leap of faith. Okay. What do you want? The magician having the ability. What is the projected outcome? The empress growth. Series of events leading up to it. The sun. The five of wands. The nine of cups. One more. The Three of Swords. Okay. Clarifier on the Moon. Six of Cups. Another Clarifier, the Lovers. Yeah. You were so tied to this. And it made you so happy. Popped off into conflict. Got your heart broken. Finally got to that emotional place. We're in the Nine of Cups. These don't necessarily have to go in order. So, get to your Nine of Cups. You're ready to go out and find that Tenth One. You want to be able to. Your challenge is you're just not quite there. You want something that's... Okay. The potential outcome here is something that's going to grow. Something that's going to become something even more beautiful. You're moving toward being able to take that leap of faith. It's a process. One on the fool, please. Four of swords. You gotta get over the heartbreak. You're still not quite there yet. At the very least, if you are through it, you gotta take that court, that sword and cut out this BS. I feel like with this moon, the six of cups, and the lovers, this is somebody who had a very huge emotional hold on you. And I think they still do. And I think even though you've gone through the process of Happiness, joy, bliss, and then it all went to shit. <laughs> You're not there yet. So what do you need to do? The world. The devil. Two of wands. Let's cycle end. Power to end the cycle lies within you, Capricorn. This is your card, by the way. Just throwing that out there. You have to disconnect from this shit. Somebody was pulling emotional puppet strings.
you have to let go of that wand of the past and move forward to the future and take that leap of faith and start that new cycle. So you can get up to here because this is going from the zero to the one. To be able to manifest growth. What you don't see coming is the nine of coins. Getting to that place of independence. Fan fucking tastic Capricorn. You're awesome. You're awesome. Your your retrograde's looking good. It's looking good. Ah, okay. Capricorn Aquarius. 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 Knave of Swords. Okay. Little Messenger of Truth. <clears throat> Maybe there's something you really need to tell somebody or want to tell somebody. What's the challenge? Wheel of Fortune. That's super weird. Not understanding why that would be a challenge. All right, let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. What are you letting go of? Three of Swords. What are you moving toward? King of Cups. What do you desire? Eight of Swords. Outcome, death, series of events. Stop right there. Clarify the wheel. I don't usually clarify the challenge, but six of cups. Okay. Karmic. Somebody you've been kicking with for a minute. Some of you have history with. You got to tell somebody the truth. And you don't know how. One on the page. Ten of Swords. How long you been carrying this Aquarius? Wow. What you want is to get out of this anxiety. Sun. Let the sun shine in your life again. Death. Queen of Coins. Wow. This is heartbreaking. You rose up out of the ashes. You did your work. Got to a place of stability. And then comes time for the honest conversation. Three of Swords, clarify. Nine of Cups. King of Cups. Hierophant.
one on the Queen of Coins. Queen of Wands. You want to be able to tell somebody how you feel. Dang, what do you need to do? What do you need to do? <laughs> wow. Don't take this the wrong way, Aquarius, but the uh, cards are saying you gotta love, you gotta, here, grow up. That's how I'm seeing this. I think maybe you've had a hard time accepting what happened. But the outcome here is changing the situation clarified by the Queen of, Co Queen of Coins and the Queen of Wands. You're moving toward the King of Cups and the Hierophant. You're moving toward leveling up emotionally. One in the Hierophant. Seven of Cups. Possibly the clearing of confusion with who you might be committing to. Ooh, that thickens the plot a little bit. It's like twisting destiny here. Wow! Are you dealing with more than one person, Aquarius? Some of you might be. Some of you may need to make a judgment call as to what is going to be the most abundant choice. Hmm. Hmm. You don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. The hermit. You gotta have some inside time. Hmm. It's time to go with an Aquarius because this is confusing me. Huh. Okay. All right. You know, the last retrograde of the year is supposed to clear things up for the year, Aquarius, not make them worse. Huh. All right. Pisces. Talk to me. Talk to me. I mean, I gave myself, like, what, an hour? I'm going to probably be close to an hour and a half by the time I get done. That's not terrible, right? I tried. At least it's not like a three-hour reading. Pisces. The Lovers. The Nine of Cups. That is a tie. The challenge is you are good on your own. What are you leaving behind? Four of Cups. What are you coming toward? Death. I think I have an old cycle in the beginning of a new one. A death cycle. Not always bad. It's something of being allowed to metamorphosize. the chubby little caterpillar going into the cocoon to become the butterfly. But that chubby little caterpillar has to die and get its wings. The problem is you good on your own, Pisces. <laughs> you don't know if you want that chubby little caterpillar to go into the cocoon to become a butterfly. Maybe it's a death of your emotional independence. I don't know. What do you want? Ten of Swords. Ten of 
I knew there was a reason you were afraid. Some of you might fear the lovers. That commitment. That kind of a connection. Possibly, you've had some spilled cups in the past. You don't know if you want to take that cup. You don't know if you want to take that 10th cup. Hmm. What's the outcome? Paraffin. Yeah. Series of events. The Six of Swords. The Moon. The King of Wands. And the Two of Coins. Anything else? The Two of Wands. Move into the unknown, crossing the choppy waters. Leveling up. Allowing that change to occur, that balance to come back in. Letting go of the wand of the past, moving forward. I feel like this needs to be over here, so I'm going to move it. I'm allowed to do that. Going toward your king energy. Growing up. But, but, there's apprehension because there was lies. Maybe this goes here. You know what? I feel like this goes here. I feel like, you know, it just throws events at me. They're not always in order. Sometimes I have to put the pieces where they go. Those lies and deception that you had to move on from to regain your balance, to be able to let something go and move forward to the energy that you wanted to be in. And once you got there, there's the apprehension. All right, what, what do we do here? What do we do here? Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Strength. Five of Cups. You have to process the emotion. In order to tame that inner beast, and that inner beast is self-doubt, by the way. It's fear. I don't think most of us realize how bad fear consumes us and keeps us from our own personal growth. Scary shit helps us grow. Painful shit helps us grow. It really does. Allowing sadness that goes along with the painful shit helps us grow. It's called growing pains. We all go through them. We all do. You have to allow for that. If you want the sun to shine again, you got to process the emotions that went along with this. You want to get to that level of commitment. And allow for that change. You got you, you can't be the chubby little caterpillar that's afraid to go into the cocoon. Because you come out something more beautiful. You come out with wings and you can fly. I mean, that's awesome. But you don't see coming. Ah. Ace of Wands. Four of Swords showed itself to me, so I'm going to do something I don't normally do. New start and passion.
That's nice. Allowing for the painful process to occur. Processing the emotions. Okay. All right, guys. Let me know what you think. I finally knocked out an all signs read in less than an hour and a half. What do you think of that? So, <laughs> I love you. I know that you love to be blessed. Take care, and I will catch you guys next time.